my absolute favorite game. Xbox did it. It's awesome. And I'm just going to go through the beginning part of it. Uh, that's all I'm really going to be doing. Wow. It actually runs a lot smoother because if you play this on the 360, um, it like it has a little bit of lag, especially in the beginning of like just like the start screen. There's like a little bit of lag, so you have to wait a second or two. So. I'm not going to say anything about the graphics, but, like, it's, you know, graphics are graphics, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to go through, like, the beginning part of it and, um, sending, maybe do, like, one or two missions and then just, like, um, uh, maybe stream a little bit of Star Wars Code R, so, not really sure, but, yeah, be quiet for this part, because it's pretty cool. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Man, I'm getting goosebumps. Stand up. Oh my god. You were dreaming. Well, I definitely had to change one thing. Um, our character is going to be. Let's see. I don't know. What should we name our character? I kind of want to do it after someone famous, but at the same time, I don't. Um, I'm just gonna go with Dread. Yeah. Dreadboat. Dread. Dreadboat. That sounds pretty cool. I know, it's a weird name, but oh well. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I it's an inverted controller. Sure to let it go. Yeah, the controller's inverted, so I'm definitely gonna have to change that, but... This is where you get off. Actually, I might be able to do that right now. Hold up. Options... Um... Always use best attack. Nah, I don't want that. Subtitles on, crosshair, uh, controller vibration, yes. Um... Menu help delay? Nah, difficulty... Wait, what? Difficulty? You can change the difficulty? That's different. At least from what I remember. Uh, strafe. Movement? Oh, I just want to turn. I don't want to do strafe. It's weird. Um, let's see. Menu. Activate. Okay, so. Vertical sensitivity. I want to increase that just a bit. There we go. Let's thumb signal you. Okay, gotcha. Uh, that um, this needs to go a little bit higher just so it can match up with um. Yeah, there we go. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Never mind then. Strafe is the way to go. <laughs> um. Yeah, I forgot some of the settings because I think the last time I did this was like way back when I first started the um the other profile that I had. Um, that profile I have on the 360, but. I remember she's like always rude. Yeah, she's always rude. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census. Man, this is so cool. Finally arrived, but our records don't show who went. Okay, I, my last character I had a dark elf. I want to change that up a bit. I want to do something different. I kind of want to go for a little bit more of a um, spells style. Even though I did have a little bit more of a spell style with uh, my last character, which is the Dark Elf, I did have more, um, bit more than that. I had, like, multiple weapons, but it was mainly, like, swords and short uh, swords and long swords and whatnot. So it was mainly just that and heavy armor and light armor, so. Um, water breathing, that's a pretty cool attribute. I c 
guess that would be helpful, but I'm not entirely sure. I do want to kind of go with the Breton only because of um, the ability to resist magic and I get magic bonuses. So... But I wouldn't want to go with a male. I guess I might go with a female. I don't know why, but I'll just do that. Um... That, I guess, looks alright. Um, hold on, let me just check through the other ones. Because I know that there's the Dark Elf, there's the High Elf. Um, I wasn't really too fond of the High Elf when I first did them. Because, I mean, they were alright, but it was just mainly, like, all the stuff that they have. It's like, the weaknesses was what I didn't really like. And Resist Disease, I mean, you might as well get that from the Argonians. But, anyways, um... Because you have Night Eye, that's pretty helpful as well. All of them have something that's helpful, but um, there's like there's a good amount that have really helpful stuff. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I might want to go with the Breton this time. Um, I mean, it's mainly just spells, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a couple of them to there. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add, um, spells and also some other weapons as well, because I do want to go a little bit more, um, like using blunt weapons as well. Like, I want to try and use, like, mace, um, maybe, like... A staff or something like that. This I know you can steal, drop, and then sell and whatnot. Uh, yes, we've been so expecting you. I might do uh, that. To be recorded, I've never stolen it before, so at least I don't think so. All right. Uh, answer questions. Give them the info. Fill out the form yourself. Um, I don't want to create custom class, but at the same time, I do. Let's create a cl custom class. Okay, so specialization is going to be magic. Attributes. Um, let's go with intelligence. Oh, that just switched that. Um, I mean, I guess that would be that, but I'll just go with willpower and intelligence. Um, major skills, not block. I'll go with... Um, where's light armor? Um... I don't really see light armor. I see heavy armor and medium armor. It is unarmored. So. Oh, it's in stealth. Okay, so. There. Um. Actually, that's in. So, yeah, I probably should have, like, my weapons that I would have. So, that. I'll go with. I'll go with blunt weapons. And. I don't know if I should go with spear. Spear seems like as if it would be good. Athletics? And acrobatics is really good for leveling if you want to, like, get really high with leveling. I know that because those two things you're using constantly in this game. You're always going to be moving and you're always going to be jumping because movement's kind of slow in this game. So definitely blunt weapon. Um, I guess I'm, I'm definitely going to go with um, enchant. Uh, I don't want to go with medium or heavy armor there. I'm going to go with um, conjuration, definitely. Um, well, I guess I might as well take the light armor out. Yeah. Okay, so enchant, blunt weapon, conjuration, destruction. Um, I'm going to go with pretty much everything that I can here. That's just going to be insanely uh, weird. I guess I'll go with a uh, marksman as well. So, and then my minor skills, I'm going to have unarmored, alchemy. This is, this is different for me, okay? So, just bear with me if I don't do good at first, but... Yeah, it's definitely going to be weird for me. Uh, speechcraft, that's very helpful. I don't know if I want to stick with athletics being on there, just because it's kind of pointless, but... It does help with leveling since it levels up constantly. Um, huh. 
I do have marksman already there. I'm going to be trying to use a lot more stuff like that, but I guess, like, yeah, I think I might want to do just short blade as well. Um, adventurer, nah, I'm going to just change that to, um, hmm, just boat. That's, that's my class, boat. And, um, I guess that's it. It looks alright. It does have a lot of stuff that, um, can definitely help. I think I might want to take athletics out of there and replace it with illusion, maybe. Do I have alteration in there? No, I don't have alteration in there, so I'm definitely going to want to get that. Okay, so I just have two weapon classes, which are short blade and marksman. The rest are magic based. And one that's armor based, but I don't really carry. I'm not going to be carrying armor pretty much with that. Because um, it is unarmored. What's unique is that I'm having conjuration and unarmored in here, so I'm going to try and find. I'm going to try and get spells that mainly revolve around just enchanting my character and giving him armor. Well, her, because it's my character's a girl, so I'll definitely be able to, um, okay, let's see, uh, fortify magic, maximum magicka, I definitely want to try and go with something like that, I think. Invisibility is kind of useless, because you only use it just to sneak past enemies, uh, thief, that's just for sanctuary, not really too much goes on with that, I, at least from what I remember. It was just a little bit that helped with that, but that was mainly in the other char uh, character. Fortify speed is seems all right. Tower, you can do a lot of stuff with it, but I don't really think I'll be using it a lot. Fortify attack, nah, I think I'm going to go with the mage. It seems like as if it's the best um, overall. Interesting. Now before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. So, you see you got 120 and I got 30 uh, health. So this seems like as if it's going to be... For me, a little bit harder to get used to since I'm not necessarily that, um, oh, whoops. I always get that mixed up, um, because sign as in, like, you know, sign the document, so that's kind of what I think of, but then I see okay. Now I have a stats menu where you can always view your information. Got it. Uh, press Show begin. Just want to take that real quick. Um... Yeah! Release identification. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I remember you could take this and then just drop this. And then they'll talk to you and then you can take it. So there you go. $650 already in my pocket. This I remember, uh, that, oh, that just tells about that, but that's only 40, uh, four or five strength, drain willpower, um, I wouldn't really want to take that, but it's, yeah, I'm not taking that, um, I'll just take, hold on, I mean, I am going to be doing alchemy, so, All right, I need to get the lockpick that's on the table. Yeah, I remember a lot of stuff from this game. So, a candlestick. I'm gonna take the silver items because there's a lot of it. That's like it has a lot of um. Okay, paper I can use to enchant, but I don't want to really take that. Um, I don't think I've ever returned this knife before. At least I don't think. I love how you can read paper before taking it. Why did I take the basket? It's kind of weird. Uh, let's see. All right, lockpick. Success, there you go, 31 gold. <laughs> and I do remember this area down here. Lots of ingredients, and I think a little bit of gold as well. Yep, uh, nope. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting myself a mortar, like, as soon as possible. I've never actually done this playstyle, like, as, 
um, significantly. I've never really significantly endured this playstyle before. I've kind of like done it a little bit here and there, but nothing major. So this will be definitely the first time that I delve into this. Um, I think I might want to take these. Not the bottle. That's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, it just drops on the floor. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can enchant uh, flasks or not to be able to get um, like potions and stuff. Because potions are usually just um, regularly uh, ingredients that can like that are just done that way. It's kind of why I was taking a lot of stuff that was there. Uh, so I know that the ring, ooh, dragon skin. Uh, shield that much for points. Bound. Oh, I already have a spell for bound dagger. Wow. Fire bite. Uh, hearth heal shield. Summon ancestral ghost and water walking. This was perfect. It really was. Um, I'm actually gonna sell the dagger because I already have a bound dagger spell. So. Yeah. Um, let's see. Release identification. Background. Moral wind duties. Um, A7 gold. Balmera. I'm just going to go through these quickly because I already know this stuff. Um, if, you guys already, if you guys don't know it, it's pretty much just like the introduction to the game. Uh, it's just describing all that is in it. And just like what to do. So it's kind of like your tour guide. This is a key to the warehouse. <laughs> I won't be taking it now. Um, but yeah, when I said acrobatics, it's pretty much just jumping. So like that. And you're going to be doing a lot of that because first person mode, it actually makes you run a lot faster. This guy, he has a ring. And it was the one that I picked up. Give it to him. And then, yeah. There's actually a mission where you can get some money. Uh, let's see. I just want to collect some ingredients. I th think. Oh, there was a. Oh, I'm gonna just take these because I know that there was a mission involving the Mages Guild where I had to um get certain types of mushrooms. Also, these are great for water walking, but I already have a water walking spell, so I don't really need that. Um, let's see. See, acrobatic skill already increased to 6. You just gotta constantly jump around. That's about it. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here and sell whatever stuff I have. <laughs> That's essentially what you do in the beginning of the game. You just barter and get rid of stuff. Spark. That's on target. Father's hand. Uh, resist magicka. I already have resist magicka. Fireball. Frostbite. Don't really need those. Um... Yeah, just, it, again, more stuff that's just, like, introductions. Um, let's see. I'm gonna want to go with, um... Flynn. That seems like as if it's the best thing to go with. Matt doesn't seem like as if it is. Um... Cure Paralyzation. That's something that I'm definitely gonna want to get. Especially against Scribs in, the, like, the early, uh, game. So I don't need that. Uh, I definitely need the ingredients. Uh, candlestick. Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything else? Mats. Yeah. That. Flynn. I'm keeping that definitely. And I'm going to try and increase. Oh. I like it. They have it where instead of um, whenever you press the the buttons on top above the triggers um it'll have it where instead of it going like fast pace through it it's um instead it's just um it just does it singly so i find that to be very interesting so don't stand about i remember that the what was it this um this door had a knife under like a pillow or something. I remember like lockpicking into it because I had all their backs turned and I just had a really high sneak. Uh, cover some gold. I'm just gonna try and do a couple missions and that'll be it. Pargos hiding spot. Do it. All you gotta do is just um, go on the watchtower and just look at that. So I am gonna grab, I think, let me see, uh, weapon. What do we got? 
there's a silver staff, a couple things, not really too much. Apparel, what do we have? Just expensive uh, item wares and some light armor. I don't think I have light armor, right? Did I assign light armor? No, I assigned unarmored, okay. That's alright, I just need conjuration anyways. This isn't really the perfect spot to get conjuration spells. Um, let's see, that's pretty nice. 60 seconds, yeah. Um, I mean, I think that is pretty expensive, though. Yeah, that is very expensive. Uh, let's see. Um, Elmissive inver Intervention on self. Um, yeah, that seems like as if it's worth it. I'm just going to grab it, just in case. Because um, I think I might need it. Flynn is 100 gold, so I'm definitely not going to grab that. I'm going to put this down to 100, since I think my personality is good enough. Oh, 10, 15, 20, 5, okay, so I think I just went all the way back. Um, let's see, next thing I need to do, oh, okay, so I'm going to save, I'm going to pretty much multitask in this, but, um, oh, whoops, oh, girl. um, Well, no, I don't want that. Uh, just one. Actually, I don't want 20. I just want... Grr. I don't like how there's, like, no space bar. That's about the only thing, is that you have to go over to the space right there. So, Dreadboat, zero. That's how I'm just going to assign it. Just in case if I make extra saves. So. I wouldn't really make too many saves on my 360 because of the fact that the 360 was kind of running low on data. Like, I only have, like, 700 some odd megabits left. Good time to show off these magic skills. Yeah. Let's go. Where are ya? Where are ya? Here we go. Yeah, see? Dead. Oh. <laughs> Oh snap, they put a health bar in there as well. That's nice. I like that. So now you can see the health bar of the creature, and I'm almost dead. <laughs> um, I do have a hearth heal, so... I think I remember I had to always buy that at that one guy to be able... Wow. Oh, that's right, because I only have like 20 health. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm going to die quickly if I don't get my strength up. That is cool though that I can actually see the um the health bar cuz I know that in the PC version you can definitely do that but in the Xbox 360 version you couldn't really do that. Crap. Um hold on. Oh, it's touch. I tried. Right. I was trying to do it from a distance. <laughs> oh boy. Um <laughs> Again, I'm not really used to doing full-on mage work in this game. I'm mostly used to doing, usually just, um, like, you know, regular sword and shield kind of business. I know scribs have fortified willpower, which I'll be using a lot, I guess. I hate these guys. They, they paralyze you, and it's so annoying. Uh, water breathing. Definitely gonna make potions of that. What? Didn't kill you? Die shall die by my fire. Oh, resist this poison? That's nice. Okay, so this guy has some pretty nice clothes. Which I'm gonna take everything. So now I can just... Actually, I'm gonna dump my clothes on him. Uh, drop, drop, drop. And then equipped, equipped. Oh, whoops! And equipped. There we go. Now I'm gonna save the two hundred dollars to give to that one guy in that one place. There's actually a way to get to him a lot quicker than you think about going to like you know how there's like the the regular door they have to go through. Well, apparently I know of a faster way, and that involves actually climbing a rock. 
and I figured this out on my own. I didn't actually look up any tutorials or whatnot. I just saw that it was there. Um, oh, let me just kill this mud crab real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with a lot of uh, restore magicka spells if I'm gonna be doing this. There we go. Probably should have gone with hand to hand just in case, but that's okay. I don't really need it. I'm gonna probably go. I'm one of the f uh, first major things I think about. I'm gonna think about doing. It's probably like getting um, just like really quickly a the um, what is it? I think it's Almexia's Star, something like that. I, I believe that's what it's called. And just like try and use that to make constant effects so that, way that I can always fortify my magicka and restore it so that way that it's always up. So that's, it seems like a pretty cool idea and I do want to work towards that. And that might be the first major thing that I do. Major. So. But yeah, as soon as I just report the gold to him, uh, rest a little bit outside of town and then just go and kill the guy Watch that killed that dude so yeah by the way I'm wearing a tax collector's clothing so oh wait right the secret area so you can't actually get in over there because you're in water and you can't jump you can't get in this way quick enough because you just have to go through a whole bunch of doors and little areas but over here you can jump across and go right in the front door but you can't go back out also I might want to take these lanterns do I have any light light source so I'm gonna just take these lanterns. Um, am I hidden? I don't really think it matters. So there you go. He has to find the 200 septums on his body. Then I go and find the murderer, and then I get 500 septums. So I'll get even more than the 500 that I have. I'll get like 700, I think. No, no, no. <laughs> what am I thinking? Uh, 800, right? So, you can get through them quickly if you do a little bit of a hop, but there's not really too much that you can do with that. So, I believe, um, wait, what was it? I think it was, not that, I forget what it was. I think it was, no, it wasn't that. It was, okay. Um, I believe it was, oh, okay, there it was. Yep. I got it. Um, crap. Uh, I'm gonna rest for like eight hours or something. Like that. Well, wait, cause I'm not outside of town. But yeah, essentially, um, I figured this out by accident, cause I was holding down the button and I pressed the trigger, and I had um, switched, and I didn't exactly know what I was doing. So you can do that with uh, melee weapons, but as you can see, I don't have any melee. So you can I can only do it with um these guys so far. So uh, I just need to get outside of town. I believe I'm outside. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna rest, get my magic back, so that I can use it against this guy. So that should be enough because I do have 120. There's not too much that's used with any of the rest. So I should be all right. I actually face like a a dregger. I forget how to pronounce it, but it's like those crab creatures that are like an octopus at the same time. And it was like very early, so. Anyways, this is the guy. Uh, the reason why it's him is because when you look at the paper, uh, it actually shows that his is the only one that's not collected. Probably should have showed you guys that first, but as you can see, um, there's only like, yeah, there's like. Yeah, the 200, the 200 drakes was paid, so you can kind of assume that it was this guy, and, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, <laughs> let me see, uh, Foreth, Foreign, Gileth, I'm pretty sure it was 225, yeah, because that's him right there, uh, I saved it, murder of Pros, Lus, whatever, I don't believe what you say. No excuse. Goodbye. Oh crap. What up? Um. 
Well then, that's great. I should have gotten a mortar before. Um, let's see. This was one of the problems that I faced um, with this guy a lot in the beginning, is that I just couldn't get up enough in time. Probably should have waited until I had enough fatigue. I'm just going to hop right outside, if I can, without dying. Come on. Oh my god, I was right at the door. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I'm actually just going to wait a couple hours. I don't know. I think I should go back to that save just because... Yeah, I think I should. I'll have enough... Um, I'll have enough magic to face him then. So, I probably shouldn't use the dagger. I probably should use, like, the fire bite. So. I don't know why they give you the fire bite instead of the fire bolt. I mean, I guess that makes sense as, like, you know, it's just for beginners. But, you know... Um, all right, hold on. Oh, I can go back with that. That's cool. Um, I'm just gonna wait like an hour, and then and then yeah, here we go. Murderer! Don't believe you. Goodbye. Take this to your grave. Die. You know, I'm gonna use a little hand to hand. Punch you in your face. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't working. Why isn't he dying? Does he have like some sort of resist? Hold up, I'm gonna use um where is it? Here we go. I'm gonna use this real quick. Just because I don't know why it's not killing him. Maybe he just has like a whole bunch of health. Or maybe he's at the end of his health. I don't know. Oh crap. <laughs> He's got me down. This is gonna suck. Um. Well then. Grr. This is not. How has he survived all the? Okay. Whoa. 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 <sighs> okay. He's. He has barely enough health. As soon as I kill him, I can rest in the bed. Oh no! No! Don't get the final shot. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning of the game, it's not as intense. So I just wanted to show the beginning just so we can see how the progression is. Because the progression in this game, it is huge. You start out like this, and then you eventually get to legendary status. Um... I'm just gonna get this dagger just so I can kill him quickly if I can. Forgot that I don't have. I didn't do the autosave. Um. <laughs> oh well. Again, I'm. Well, I haven't said this, but I'm like a little bit of an average player when it comes to this. So. I will listen, Outlander. Just gotta wait. I don't know why I put eight hours, but okay. Just a random man sitting in your house for eight hours. Sounds like as if you're best buds. But you just want to kill me, so I'm just gonna. The same. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Right here. He's at like 50 health. Oh my god. This man. Oh, he's almost there. That's like 10 health or something. Come on. Stand up. Oh, ha. 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 What? You mean you want to talk? Oh, my. I have 30 health. I should be easy to kill for, for this guy, but oh, well. Let's see. At least my unarmored gets up. Yes! <laughs> okay, let's take the belt and the ring. I remember that goes to someone special. Chest, uh, you have some gold. Scuttle, restore fatigue. As soon as I get a mortar, I'm going to do this whole um, alchemy thing.
Man, a few more seconds and I wouldn't have had my dagger. That would have been horrible. Dance and fire, that's 300 gold. I'm taking it. Oh, no, that's 150. Well, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, just getting to bed. Gotta rest. So, I got him dead. Now let's go collect our 500 money, 500 gold, and then go to the top of there. Also, I gotta talk to that one chick in there. Tell her about the ring, give it to her. I don't think she gives me any money, but she does give me potions. So, again, the multitasking in this game, especially in the beginning, if you know what to do, you can so expose it. And you can use it to the best of whatever's. It's awesome like that. Uh, sweet, got 500 gold. Can't go back out there. That's 100 lock. That's insane. Okay. I will say this, though. The game does load a lot faster than what I expected. The main reason why I say that is because before, uh, when I had it on the 360, it wouldn't load as fast as you would think. So it was just kind of like it would it would slow down a bit here and there, and it was just it wasn't really annoying. It's just that it took a while. So the gameplay that you're seeing here is a lot faster than what was originally done on the 360. Um, let's see, go here, ring. Yes, yeah, these two standard restore health potions, and I also um, yeah, that's about it. She also has a book up here and a bunch of lanterns. Which I can take. Well, not really a bunch, but just a few. So, uh, grief. I'll take that just to sell it. No, not the paper. I want the bread. Here we go. Three hundred. This is the one that I wanted. So, I'm actually using the unarmed skills. So that's good for that. All you have to do up here is just essentially wait, and you just have to watch that guy right there. See him? The weasel. Nah, I'm joking. He's like creeping along, so he's kind of like he sticks out, but at the same time he doesn't. So, and I'm just saying, I don't know why but my character looks like a guy from like the back view, but like here it's just like whoa. I actually like the haircut a lot, mainly because of the the bangs. I don't know why. And he just walks over here, goes in there. I get to pick up his money and the ring again. So I get to have the ring. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Water walking. That's for the um, intervention thing. I'm just going to keep it on um, this for now. Yeah, see, he's already in the puddle. So I think I remember getting a disease in there once. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um... I don't think you can get diseases very often, though. But, yeah. So, eventually, so after that, all you gotta do next is just go here. Ouch. Um. There we go. Just gotta go right on over here. Acrobatics up to 11. It's in the big one. I get that. Another lockpick and 300 gold. I can actually keep that f in full instead of giving it to that one guy. Uh, I can probably repay him eventually. So, But I'm just going to go sell some more stuff and then use... Um, actually, no, I'm not going to use anything yet. I'm just going to save it and then just say say la vie because I'm going to be ending this stream right now um, in a few minutes. So barter. Get rid of some... Um, uh, Grief, some of my books, and uh, some of my. That's about it, really. Yeah. I'm just gonna increase this to like 40. I'm gonna see if I can go to 50. 45? Yeah. I don't think there was any spells I get. Well, on. I think it was just mainly, yeah, so there wasn't really anything that I could get. Okay, oh well. Um, 
Yeah, no, I'm not gonna talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's he's not gonna get his stuff. Uh, what other mission is there that I can do really quickly? I don't really think it's a mission. It's more of just like two dungeon areas. Well, no, a one dungeon area. <laughs> I don't know why there's a guard under there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I remember it was maybe this way and then a little bit that way. I'm going to test out the water walking spell, see how long that lasts. Yeah. I don't think it lasts that long. Let me see. Um. Oh, 60 seconds. Yeah, that. I think everything is 60 seconds. I mean, I didn't really need to use it there. It was kind of a waste, but oh well. But now I have a ring of healing. Uh, where's my fire bite? Here it is. Gotcha. Ooh, actually there was a dagger somewhere. I forget where though. It was like in some random area. Um, I don't think I'm going the direct right way. I don't know. I remember it being somewhere around... Actually, it was up this way. I, I think it was. If you guys don't know about this, you're gonna either get a good laugh or be very surprised. Maybe surprised. Possibly surprised. It was somewhere along, I think, this road. Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, nah, it's actually around here somewhere. I believe it's around this way. It's either this way or a little bit more towards the right, I believe. Um, no, yeah, because I remember this road. It was like a guy. And this guy. He's like the... He becomes the best of your friends. Because he falls from the sky and gives you... Oh, I couldn't talk to him in time. Um, he gives you a s iron spark sword, a helmet, and an extravagant robe, extravagant shoes, three potions of flight, and a book. That's actually a pretty funny journal. So now I have a hat, a robe, some better shoes, and I'm actually going to drop these on his naked body. And I'm also going to equip this belt and this sword. So now I am a wizard. Look at that. I feel like as if I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh. Wait, did that? Okay, yeah, the lantern thing ran out. Yes, I think, yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to collect a couple of these little things down here. The dragon spire, dragon flower, whatever it is called. That, uh, dragon, draggle tarot. No, that's not the one. Um, this one. That one gives water walking abilities. Um, along with that, so. I wish you could collect, like, the little... Uh, leaf pads. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, let's test out the short sword. I haven't had... I don't have any uh, short sword uh, attributes yet, so... Might as well get it started now. I probably should have put that in there, because I would be using a weapon, especially, like, in the beginning. Like, uh, at least, like, for the conjuration spells. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get that up a little more. But I'm going to go on the edge of town and get a little bit of a dagger. I be I think it's a fire dra a dagger. It's like in one of these like little wooden uh, tree trunks or whatnot. It's it's like a physical thing. I, I think it's physical. Like where you just have to stand over it and pick it up. If it's not, then you have to actually um, just click on it and just search in it and whatnot. But I remember there being like a couple tree trunks where you could actually like look in it and you could find stuff. Don't exactly remember where they were, but they were pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's that one right there. 
Yep, it might be. Oh snap. Um hold up. I got that good camera angle. Grr. Okay, yeah, it's not there. It was somewhere around here. At least from what I remember. I saw it on like a stream. I don't think I ever got it though. So it it might have been here, but I'm just not sure. If I can't get it then I'll I just I'll ignore it. I'll probably eventually look it up and find it sometime. Um Oh yeah, I forgot to mention if I do get stuck on something, I'll I guess I'll use the um the Morrowind wiki because that'll really um, get me out of some sticky situations. I've done that before, so I tend to not use it, but if I need to, then I will. So, um, what we're gonna do is just go over here. Actually, I think it might have been over this area. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know where anything is anymore. <laughs> I think it's been like a couple months since I've actually played uh, Morrowind. And that was on the the 360, so. Let's see, I gotta find a way up. Oh, please don't tell me that. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well then, I think they might have fixed it. Oh well. In the, the when um when you download Morrowind, because it really is downloading since it, um you know it's Xbox One, um it said that it gave you an update. So oh, I can just get over here. Um well anyways, the update uh I guess added some stuff and also maybe took away a couple things, and. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I was a little bit in shock there for a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, essentially it just, it kind of took away a, th a couple things, like maybe fixed a couple bugs and, you know, just overall, um, added a couple things and made it a little bit more fluid and just better in a way. So, but what it was that essentially if you go on like the corner or some things, you could actually like... Well, not like this, but like if it was a little bit more slanted, you could use it to, um, like, climb stuff a lot easier. Because it's on, like, a slant, so. Anyways, I'm going to save, um, I'm going to save right here. Let me just back up so I can get a good shot of um my character. Yeah. Okay. And essentially, you can just use the climb stuff a lot easier, but they might have taken it away. So, oh well. Uh, I'm also just going to quickly rest, and in the next stream, I'll go inside this little dungeon area, and... Then I'll head on over to Balmera and be able to start going on the main quest. It's been um, pretty interesting starting this series. Not only starting, but continuing. So, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, and I hope to see you in the next stream that I do with this. So.